Hi everyone, it's Elaine Waldo again today, and I'm really happy today to be with Angie Peters, our physical therapist extraordinaire on Maui, and um, have her talk a little bit about what she does in her practice, and first of all, how long you've been a physical therapist and what might have motivated you. Sure, I've been a physical therapist for about 13 years, uh, going on 14. I began my practice as an orthopedic physical therapist uh, in Utah, and so there are many different facets to physical therapy. Uh, I chose the route, the, the route of, of the outpatient physical therapy. Okay, and um, in general, how do you think physical therapy has an impact on a person's health overall? Physical therapy really brings balance to the physical body. If somebody comes to me, they are typically injured or they have an issue that the doctor has referred them to uh, to, to move forward and, and heal. So with that said, an injury-based clientele is typical of what I see or what a physical therapist does see. You will have physical therapists that practice in more preventive measures as well or have influences such as athletic training my, my focus is typically once they have seen the doctor with an injury and they're coming to me with a problem. Very good. And I understand you have a particular niche of patients that you enjoy working with and helping more than other particular patients. I do. I, I specialize in women's health and pelvic rehabilitation. That encompasses quite a bit. And as we speak today, uh, we'll get more into why it is that I'm here to promote um, Elaine's product of the alkaline uh, coffee and diet. With the women's health, I do specialize in, uh, if I could break it down, I would probably say urinary and bladder and bowel health. Uh, I work with the pelvic girdle often, so I'm in treatments with those that are pregnant or in postpartum. I do work with men as well typically with prostatectomy, uh, post-prostatectomy surgeries, and also with children, as children do tend to have bowel and bladder dysfunctions. Very good, and you did mention that for some of your patients, you asked them to try to have a, uh, an alkaline-based diet instead of uh, more of an acidic diet that some of us have, and how does that play into this? So the bladder is a very sensitive organ, and in discussing anatomy and education with my clients that have bowel or bladder sensitivities, one of the issues that comes to discussion is what happens in their environment. One of them is what they bring into their body. So with that environmental influence, that's something that they have the power to easily change. Maybe I, I don't say easily because it does take effort, but it is inexpensive and it's at their own time. They're able to do the changes if they feel they'll make them. So when it comes to an alkaline diet, I, I like to discuss a bit more specifically um, the concepts of caffeine and acid and as it relates to bladder health. Caffeine and, uh, and acid, acidic foods, do irritate the bladder lining. And so you will have people that have symptoms such as urinary urgency or urinary frequency, and sometimes associated with that would be urinary incontinence. When people come to me for these issues that their doctors have referred them to me for, I am discussing in my education the concept of decreasing caffeine and acidic foods. Very good. And how does the, so in what way does the alkaline, how is that more beneficial, the alkaline? I mean, I know that the acidic diet is bad. Can you elaborate any more on that? Acidic foods can trigger bladder spasms. Our bladder works on our autonomic nervous system. So with that said, we don't have direct control over how our bladder responds to what we eat or drink. If we influence our food intake, our bladder will 
calm down through the central nervous system routing. We're able to control any overactive bladder issues simply through what we eat or drink. Very good. Thank you. And why don't you let everybody know what your website is in case they want to find out more about you? Absolutely. My website is www.mauipelvicrehab.com and it's rather comprehensive on my services. I'm located in Kahului, Maui. Thank you. And please, any of you who have any questions about any of this and what Angie can do for you, then make sure you check out her website and contact her. Thank you. Thank you.